We've now covered a variety of drawing related tasks and back in project six, we looked at animation. So now I want to look at putting these two things together. First, let's build a custom shape we can use for our example. We're going to write a trapezoid shape, which is a four sided shape with straight sides of which one pair has parallel opposite like this. So we'll say there's a strut called a trapezoid, which is a shape. We'll say it has an inset amount of double. Then we'll add our path in rect method here. We'll make our path and then draw out the trapezoid inside our path. So we'll say path dot move to the CG point of X zero Y rec dot max Y. Then path dot add line to CG point. Our inset amount, so how much of a trapezoid we want to pull in on one side, with the y being rect.min y. Then path add line 2, a cg point. x is the other side, so it will be our rect max x minus our inset amount. So again, pulling in one side, with the y being rect.min y. That's uh, the top part drawn. We'll now say the rect add line 2. This will be a CG point with rect dot max X. Y is rect dot max Y. So going down to the bottom right corner and rect add line to CG point X is zero back to our starting point, but Y should be rect dot max Y and then send back that path. So I made a slight mistake. If I said rect by accident, some reason, ridiculous reason. Half and path, otherwise it's all correct. Hello dog, how are you doing? We can now use that inside of view and we can pass in some local state to control its inset amounts. So we can modify the value freely. I could say there is an at state private var inset amount of 50.0. And then we'll place a trapezoid here with inset amount of our inset amount property. A frame, I'll fix it 200, 200 like this 100 even and on tap gesture we'll say our inset amount is double dot random in 10 through 90. so uh another little typo i blame the dog <laughs> we've got a customized blend set for our trapezoid and when we press it we want to uh change its amount to a random number between 10 and 90. So I'll press Command R. And what this should do is every time we tap on our trapezoid, it should change inset amount like this. Boom, ba-doom, ba-doom, ba-doom. So all we're doing is moving those edges in further and further and further each time up to almost fully make a triangle. Up to, but not quite. It's like through 90 up to, rather than up to 200. Anyway, it'd be lovely, right? If we could animate those changes. And so you'd probably think we can use on tap gesture and let's say with animation, that code here. Come on then, you can get one treat. With animation, that thing here. And so with that in place, great, now we'll have animation, right? Good girl, you're a very good dog. Let's find out. Pressing it, and nothing's changed. We've asked for animation, but we aren't getting animation here, so what gives? Now, if you remember we looked at animations previously, I said to you, you want to add a call to print inside the body property and what you saw was it was printing out two, three, four, and so forth. And it was printing out whole numbers while the button was animating and shrinking whatever smoothly. So it wasn't going between two to three, it wasn't, wasn't jumping, it was going two, 2.1, 2.2, da, 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 up smoothly all the way up. And what's happening here is that SwiftUI was examining the state of our view beforehand, examining it afterwards, and animating those changes. Isn't that right? Um, while doing so, but the actual underlying value changes immediately. So as soon as inset amount is set to a new random value between 10 and 90, it'll send that in immediately to our trapezoid. Right here, I'll pass it on in. It won't pass in all the intermediate values. It changes immediately to a random number between 10 and 90. So let's jump immediately for the new value. And so this is why our trapezoid jumps from inset to inset. It has no idea an animation's even happening or what that even means. We can fix this 
in only four lines of code. And to be fair, one of those is a closing brace, so three and a bit lines of code. However, even though the code is simple, the way it works might bend your brain a little bit. Let's find out. I'll say uh, we're going to add a new computed property to our trapezoid. We'll say uh, var animatable data. And this is going to be a double. And when we read the animatable data, we'll send back our insight uh, insert amount. And when we write the animatable data, we will set insight amount to be the new value that was passed in to animatable data. You can now run the app again, can't you, Aria? And hopefully, you're going to see our trapezoid animate smoothly again, again, again. So it's changing now correctly and smoothly the insert amount. Now, what's happening here is quite complex. When we say with animation down here, SwiftUI immediately changes the state of inset amount to be its new value, whatever is provided in here. But behind the scenes, it's also keeping track of the changing value over time as part of the animation. And as the animation progresses, it will set this animatable data property of our shape to the latest value that's being animated. And it's down to us to decide what that means. It's now 10.1, 10.2, 10.3, 10.4. What does that actually mean? In our case, we say, well, just put that in inset amount. Put that into our new value, the thing we want to animate. So remember, SwiftUI looks at our view state before the animation was taking place, and then again after. In our case, it can see we had trapezoid inset amount 50. Here, that's initial value. But then afterwards, it had a random inset amount. And so, it could be 62 or something, right? It will then interpolate between 50 and 62. 50.1, 50.5, 60.1, whatever it is, all the way up to those two values over the length of our animation. Each time, setting the value for animatable data to that new value. And then we put that into inset amount. So it'll become 51, 52, 53, 54, until 62 is finally reached.